Okay, so the Doctor Strange trailer dropped. You know it, I know it. There have been a thousand videos, but guess what? Now there's another one, because today we are talking which members of the Illuminati I believe we are going to be seeing on the big screen. If you want more videos like this, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below. But let's get right into this. So first off, what is Marvel's The Illuminati? It is a secret organization comprised of several of the world's most powerful heroes. We often see characters in the comics like Doctor Strange, Charles Xavier, Black Bolt, who is the king of the Inhumans, and in a pretty mediocre television show. He needs justice. Reed Richards, of course, member of the Fantastic Four. Namor the Submariner, who we are getting rumors of, will be popping up in Black Panther, so maybe his first appearance is here. Maybe we'll talk about it. And of course, Iron Man. Now, what do they do? The idea behind the Illuminati is to take the superhero-filled world that we live in and shape it in what will serve humanity the best. Of course, from that, things can go wrong. But for the most part, in the past, it has been comprised of some really good people. We also have someone like a Black Panther helping out with a lot of the missions of sorts that they have to go on. After the Kree Scroll War in the comics, Black Panther, who chose not to join the group, helped bring them together in the first place to face these very different kinds of threats. It's not what we see the Avengers face. How do I know them from the comics? Well, the ultimate thing that split them up in the first place was the decision where Iron Man decided to trick the Hulk into leaving Earth, going into space, and they sent him off to a distant planet. Now, the rumored World War Hulk movie that we could see in the distant future, since we are setting up the Illuminati, could spawn from the formation of this group, but we'll get to that when we get there. When that decision was made in the comics, Namor chose to leave and Professor Xavier disappeared after everything with the Illuminati, and of course, the House of M storyline. Another storyline, oh my god, so many, that could be included in Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. So you see how they culminate in the comics, and you're seeing how they could culminate in this film. Also, a lot of that leads to the Superhuman Registration Act, but we've already seen Civil War, so that's not happening again. So before we get into who I actually think is on the team, I do want to give some other choices that no one has talked about thus far. I'm sure people have talked, but I haven't seen them. By the way, these choices are way less possible, but there's a little bit of crossover between the comic books and what we've seen in the movies. My first choice is Hank Pym as Yellow Jacket. We've seen Yellow Jacket and we've seen Hank Pym play a massive role in the Ant-Man franchise, and we do know that there will be a return of Ant-Man in next year's movie, but what if we saw Hank Pym as Yellow Jacket, or a variant of Hank Pym, because most of these will be variants from another universe, and instead of taking up the mantle of Ant-Man, or maybe he was even Ant-Man at a point and eventually becomes a different version of Yellow Jacket. This character specifically was a part of the Illuminati in the comic books, and because there are variants of characters that we know, it is a possibility. Now, do I think it will happen? No, but it does have some crossover. Next up is Captain Britain, who was a part of the Illuminati in the comics, but I'm not actually going in the Brian Braddock direction. I'm going to take that concept and apply it to Captain Carter. Now, we've seen the shield in the poster. We know she's going to be in the movie, and I have a good feeling that she will not be a part of this Illuminati Council, but what if that was a pun for the TV show? What if she is actually not somewhere else in the film, but is sitting on the Illuminati Council and somehow got recruited, maybe even the version we've seen in What If, to that council after the events of the television show? Not as likely, of course, but it would be nice to see some diversity on that team. Well, since we are dealing with different variants and Black Panther was as close as you could get in the comic books to being a part of the original Illuminati team helping spawn it in the first place, what if we see an alternate version of Black Panther? I know there's a chance they bring back Killmonger in the next Black Panther movie, but what if we see someone like a Michael B. Jordan from another universe playing the role of a Black Panther? People have been looking at this photo specifically and saying, is that Black Panther or is that Mr. Fantastic? Well, I have my opinion, but it's very possible it is a different version of Black Panther. And there are so many others I could bring up from Medusa to Beast from the X-Men to one I believe will come eventually in the MCU, Amadeus Cho, but as of now, I want to give you kind of my final outside looking in honorable mention, and that is Enchantress, aka our version of Enchantress, Sylvie from Loki. What are the connections here, Austin? Well, first of all, the same writers from Loki 
wrote Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So there's your first kind of connection there. And then we have all of the rumors that were swirling around a couple of months ago that Loki would be an integral part of this film, whether that be a lot of screen time or just kind of a cameo but playing a big role in the multiverse aspect of it. If Loki's in the movie, if you have the writers, why wouldn't we have Sylvie? And in the comics, the Enchantress is on the council, and I believe she's actually in the modern version of the council. So at some point she joins the Illuminati, Illuminati, maybe not this version. I don't think she's going to be on it, but there is a possibility. Okay, let's go into the main members that we talked about at the beginning of the video, and I'm going to tell you whether or not I believe they're going to be on there and who is filling those chairs. The first one is Black Bolt, and we saw Black Bolt in Marvel's version of The Inhumans, a television show that I just wasn't the biggest fan of. So bringing that version back would be an odd, even though it is kind of canon, odd and awkward choice for Marvel to do now. It is very possible. They could also go the variant route and just bring in a new version of Black Bolt. I think that is way more possible than anything. I'm not going to rule it out in its entirety, but I think for the sake of this film, they are going to change up the members. So I say Black Bolt is a no-go in this movie. Next up, like I mentioned earlier, Namor the Submariner, King of Atlantis. Now, we know we're going to see him eventually. We know he could be a big part of the next Black Panther film. Do I believe this is his first appearance? Well, it doesn't necessarily fit in as much, and I understand it comes straight out of the comic books, but there needed, in my opinion, to be some sort of establishment for that character prior, because non-fans, or I, I will say general fans who are watching this movie, they're going to see Namor and be like, who in the world is that? At least Black Bolt was in a TV show. I don't think this is where you introduce him. I think you save Namor for Black Panther, and I just have a feeling they're going to give those roles to more familiar characters. So I say Namor the Submariner is a no-go for this movie. Next up, another original member of the Illuminati. This is a brand new character. Just kidding. It is Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange. Now, we know our version of Doctor Strange, as said in Spider-Man No Way Home, is not the Sorcerer Supreme. That's our boy Wong. So, does he turn into Sorcerer Supreme and become part of this Illuminati? Well, I believe there's a chance he could join the team maybe by the end of the film. Maybe that's where we leave Doctor Strange. But is there a different version on the council when he shows up? I actually don't think so, and here's why. My theory, and I've seen this theory elsewhere, so it's not mine specifically, but I believe when we see the statue of what looks to be a dead Doctor Strange, that was the Sorcerer Supreme who has since passed on. Somehow, he died. Who took the mantle of Sorcerer Supreme? Well, to me, this feels like a different version of Mordo. This feels like a variant of Baron Mordo. Maybe we see the original, maybe we don't. But we also see a fight sequence right here. It looks like it takes place within this place where the Illuminati is located. So why else would Baron Mordo be there? And why does it look like maybe he's carrying a sword of some sort in this picture without Baron Mordo being a part of that council? So I believe in his universe, Baron Mordo is the Sorcerer Supreme and his place is on the Illuminati Council. He is the first member. I believe he is a yes, just not Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange. I want to pause right here and say, if you guys are watching and enjoying this video, first of all, I appreciate it. This is different from what I normally do, so thanks so much for being here. Be sure to be leaving your comments. Am I leaving anyone out? And drop that thumbs up to support this channel. I also want to talk about someone else briefly, the variant version that we see of who I believe to be Captain Marvel, but not Brie Larson playing the character. I believe this is either Maria or Monica Rambeau, mother or daughter, an alternate version in a different universe where they became Captain Marvel. And in the trailer, it looks like they are, for some reason, where the Illuminati is. So I guess there is technically a possibility that Captain Marvel could be a part of the Illuminati Council. Now, do I believe believe that is the case. I do not, just because there is no place in the comics where that ever happened, but they could absolutely switch it up for the sake of this film. I'm just going to say she is a no-go for the Illuminati, but there is a form of Captain Marvel in this movie. Now, the other person that people are saying this character could be is the superior version of Iron Man, which in a way, this does kind of look similar, even though I still think that's Captain Marvel. Who is playing Superior Iron Man? I do not think they are bringing back Robert Downey Jr. for this role. And I am of the same mindset as a lot of scoopers and just fans of this franchise as a whole. 
that they are bringing in Tom Cruise to play this character. Because we know from way back, Tom Cruise almost played Iron Man, wanted to show his face, and as we see from this photo, this version of Iron Man does show his face, and it would make all of the sense in the world if he was a variant from another universe. The Ultron bots leading Doctor Strange into this sanctum of sorts does kind of confirm that for me, because who else would be controlling him other than Ultron? Is Ultron on the council? Maybe. No. And finally, we have the obvious. We have the photo that a lot of people were thinking, maybe that's Black Panther. I don't think it's Black Panther. I think it is Reed Richards from the Fantastic Four. There have been rumors swirling for so long. John Krasinski, in my opinion, will be playing Mr. Fantastic and will be playing a variant of the character. Now, in a way kind of stinks because I want to see Krasinski in our universe as Mr. Fantastic. So if it's not John Krasinski on the council, I'll be sitting back going, okay, all right, he's not of our universe. That's okay. Maybe we get Ian Griffith, who played Reed Richards in the early 2000s version of the Fantastic Four, which means he is a variant from another world. Now, you know, taking that character and putting him in this situation, a lot would have had to happen. So it would seem somewhat unbelievable, but, and we'll get to it here in just a second, it may not be the same version that we know, because we know that different variants can look the same, different variants can look different, and thus be played by different actors. Are you confused yet? Me too. So Mr. Fantastic, I'm gonna say yes, and I am gonna call my shot right now and say it's John Krasinski. Finally, Patrick Stewart returns as Charles Xavier. He's basically the only one confirmed from the trailer, uh, but we do have a good feeling that he is the leader of the Illuminati. Now, Austin, here's the ultimate question, right? Is he the Professor X that we know from the X-Men movies? Is he what some people still say is an alternate version of that from Logan? Or is he a new version in its entirety? My answer to that is maybe not any of those choices. Austin, what are you talking about? Well, if we take a look at this concept art, Patrick Stewart as Professor Xavier, we see him in this very familiar looking chair that is only from one thing I can recall from my childhood, and that is this version of the X-Men. X-Men, what they are bringing back now, and they have announced that as X-Men 97 on Disney+, Plus, the first official Marvel Studios project, which means if this is indeed that version of Professor X, because it would make all of the sense in the world, that is now officially sort of, somewhat, not really, but sort of canon in the Marvel Cinematic Universe because it's the same chair. And that piece of concept art came out way before this trailer, which means the Ultron bots kind of confirm that it is legit. Oh. My. God. Now, this is another theory that I did not come up with myself. I saw it on Twitter, so I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I was convinced that he was a variant in the first place, but to be the variant from the X-Men animated show would be fantastic. And it would still leave open the possibility of visiting our Charles Xavier from the X-Men universe that we know at the end of Days of Future Past, where everything was okay <laughs> before Logan, right? That possibility is still open. So, guys... There we have it. My team of the Illuminati includes Reed Richards, Iron Man, Baron Mordo, Charles Xavier, and those other two seats that we see in the trailer, I believe, have either yet to be filled or those two members have died. So I guess three members have died since Doctor Strange died and Mordo took over. Regardless, my theory, and we'll get into more theories in another video, is that we could possibly see our Doctor Strange take the mantle of the Illuminati once one of those members dies or he just takes one of those seats, y'all. Man, this was crazy. What a fun video to bring to you guys. Again, this is so different for me, so if you want to support anything on my channel, this would be the one, and if you'd like to see more theory-type videos, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you soon.